Okay, now that congratulations. Uh, two very different sets there. Yeah, well, uh, for, for most of the, the match, I played really, really well and served very good. I could have, could have the, the finished the job earlier, but I, you know, I made some unforced errors in, on 5-3 when I needed to close it out. I played a bad game, gave him an opportunity to come back, had the next game, few match points. He played well. He, 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 he fought it all the way through, so uh, you know, I have to give him credit for that, but um, it, was, it was a good performance. He's a bit of an unknown quantity, isn't it? So is it sometimes difficult playing guys you, you don't... Yeah, I never played against him, so I, I didn't really know much. And um, I've seen uh, you know, a few points that he played in the first match. So, yeah, but I knew that he's a great competitor and somebody that uh, just recently made a breakthrough on ATP. And um, he's, he's a good, good competitor. And he's through to the quarterfinals, so you must be delighted anyway. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, what do you think of the quarterfinal matchup? I... Uh, <laughs> I think uh, it's going to be it's going to be a tough match. You know, always. I mean, uh, the, the mindset is uh, not to underestimate anybody. Even though uh, you know I'm a favorite in most of the matches that I that I play, but you know, Andreas is uh, is somebody that uh, you know is very solid from from both sides on the baseline, and he can play well if he serves well. It can be dangerous, but uh, he, I, I think he he likes playing on this surface, like these conditions. But um, you know, if I if I play well as as I did in, in first two sets in first two matches, I think I have a good chance.